Let's check if the user entered number is an Armstrong number or not. Well, Armstrong number is a number that is equal to the sum of cubes of its individual digits. Okay. For example, if the user enters 153, its individual digits are 1, 5 and 3. Cube all those digits and add them and it will give 153 in this case. So the user entered number is 153 and the cubes of sum of cubes of individual digits is 153 as well. So it's an Armstrong number. So I'll explain that in a C program. First I'll take num is equal to 153 itself. Later on I'll ask the user to enter his choice of num integer number in this same program. So stay tuned. So reminder is equal to num modulo 10. This would fetch the last digit of this number that is 3. So we already fetched the last digit. Next we need to sum that, add that the cube of that number. So reminder into reminder into reminder. So I'll add that to the previous sum. So previous sum is zero. zero. So three cube is I, I guess 27. So sum will be 27. Yes, three cube is 27. So next I'll reduce this 153 to 15 because we already fetched that last number, right? Using that modulo operation. So num is equal to num divided by 10 would give 15. So number will be 15 now. So 3 is reminder, 3 cube is 27, which is sum and num is reduced to 15 now. So next step, I'll show you. We should write this in while loop. I'll just re remove that 3. Next reminder will be 5, sum will be, I guess, 125, that is 5 cube. So number will be 1. Okay. Yeah, it's working. So let me put this logic inside while loop and fetch the number one by one. So while loop executes until number is zero. So we can just write num because if it if number is zero, the while loop exits. So num is equal to num divided by 10 ultimately gives zero. So if the I'll, I copied the original number that is 153 to a temporary variable temp. Now if that original number which is present in temp is equal to sum then it's an Armstrong number right if not it's not an Armstrong number in this case 153 is an Armstrong number so 153 is an Armstrong number okay I'll replace it with 123 which is not an Armstrong number and it's telling that now let me remove this and ask the user to enter his choice of integer number and I'll store that integer number inside the address of variable num. So let us check now. I'll give the Armstrong number itself 153. Okay. Now I'll give 159 which is not an Armstrong number. Yeah. I'll give one more Armstrong number that is 370. It's an Armstrong number. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and logic of this program we have listed um, so many other Armstrong numbers on that uh, blog so please visit there and stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you